ate some um, bread so I might have crummies on my teeth but um, hello <laughs> how are ya uh, for today's video we are headed to a bunch of different drugstores to see what new drugstore makeup they have <laughs> I was like wait what am I saying so every year I upload these videos on um, the drugstore brand release tons of goodies um, I would say the end of December starting January and the January so now is a perfect time to try out all of the new goods see what they have in store I just popped by one store there was really nothing but we're gonna hop into a few other ones to see what's up I'm taking you guys with me let's get started okay so first up we have some goodies here from wet and wild these are new items that i actually have not seen yet so thrilled this right here is called the always a blushing palette we basically get mainly mat mattes in here i would say a few metallics and a few like glittery type of shades but the ones that you probably need an adhesive with i love the colors and then this right here is called always naked it's definitely more of like a cool toned i would say neutral type of palette slightly yeah more cooler tone um you also get mattes metallics and then one like glittery type of shade in here they also have the wet and wild makeup proof waterproof liner i've been really really into these uh liners lately i love so many drugstore ones and high-end ones but i'm curious to see how this one will perform it looks amazing and you cannot beat the price five twenty. 29 for that the palettes are 9.99 next they released this take your vitamins for some like vitamins i'm like what uh super nutrient face mist looks really really good it is 4.99 i love the packaging i want to just see here so i just read the back of it and it said it's great for priming so you would apply this before you apply maybe your foundation or cc cream something like that really really nice i love those kind of products hopefully it's good they also have this the primer serum so it says refined pores let's see it has pretty solid ingredients and it's a water based serum formulated with green tea that blurs out honestly i feel like this could be very beneficial in my life i'll tell you that this i feel like i've seen around i just haven't seen it like i've seen it in like pictures and stuff but i haven't seen it myself in store it's the tinted hydrator it has hyaluronic acid squalene it's oil free it has sheer to medium coverage looks really nice it's pretty small it only has 0.91 fluid ounces of product so less than the typical amount i feel like we would get um there are only two pieces left here so a few of the shades are sold out but really awesome that's $6.99 they also have this, which is $3.99. And what is this? This is the Bare Focus Clarifying Powder. So it says it's translucent, but it might leave a little bit of a white cast. I'm not 100% sure, but they have this here as an option. Really awesome. This right here, I want to say, is brand new from L'Oreal. It is the Voluminous Noir Mascara. Looks really, really cool. Like, look at that. I actually really enjoy the mascaras in general as a whole, so this might be nice. It has a rubber bristled wand. And then here it says seven times fuller lashes at my, um, I think I'm in C, no, I'm in a Walgreens now, $11.99. They also have this section here of sponges from Real Techniques. They are all $5.99, so we have the original Real Techniques sponge. I like this, I think it's a pretty good one from the drugstore. They also have this one right here. This is the Miracle Powder Sponge. Interesting. I'm curious to see what the difference is in regards to like quality and like the texture of it. And then we have the Blend Plus Mattify one, which also like, what does that really mean? How different is it? Really cool. I don't know if it's a marketing tactic or if it really will do something for the skin, but pretty awesome. $5.99 each. I also spotted this Duo Line It Lash It Adhesive Eyeliner. I usually don't like their glues, I'll be honest here, but this looks pretty good. It looks like the Kiss one that I adore. So this is $8.99. They have it here now. Um, here's what this play looks like. Milani actually has a few new things. So they have this mascara. This is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara. It looks pretty cool. I really, really like the packaging. It also has a rubber bristled wand like the L'Oreal one had. And looks nice. I haven't tried much of their um, mascaras, but here's like the before and after. They also have the Lash and Brow Serum by Milani as well. It says 70% felt lashes look thicker and longer, which looks amazing. I haven't tried anything like this in the drugstore, but I know a lot of high-end brands have them and they work, so I'm curious about this. Guys, in the CoverGirl section, I spotted the Exhibitionist Lash Enhancing Liquid Eyeliner. I've never seen this, so I think it's brand new. They don't have much else, really, but this looks pretty good. I'm excited. I think that they were supposed to also have, like, the mascara here, but I haven't seen mine. Like, I don't see any here yet. 
They also have this new mascara here by Maybelline, which I've tried already. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I didn't think it did much for the lashes, but they have it here as an option. I do love the packaging and I like the promo pic too. It looks so cool. So they have the regular version and then this I believe is the waterproof I want to say. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, awesome. So yeah, we have that. Okay, so I'm headed into this store now. This is Walgreens in a different location. I know the music is blasting, so I would recommend just upping up the volume on your computer or laptop or phone because um, my voiceover is a little bit low, but then we'll kind of get back to regular programming. Sorry about the back and forth, but it's just kind of like, I have to figure it out, you know? Okay, let's go. Here we have the L'Oreal True Match Nude Foundation. I was kind of kind of shocked and surprised to see that it was $20.99, quite pricey, but I heard such amazing things about this one. It's like a 10 out of 10 product, apparently. They also had the Glow Paradise Balm in Gloss Display from L'Oreal. These look really, really nice. Definitely something that I can see myself being obsessed with. So they were $9.99 each. Uh, most of the shades were sold out, but they did have a few. They had this one at number 10. This is a beautiful, kind of like cool tone nude. This right here is more of like a rosy type of color. Such a beautiful like go-to daily shade. This was probably the palest one. Then we have this more like coffee-ish type of brown color. And then they had this um, more like slightly raspberry tone shade. They also released some of the Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick lip products. So these are like a hybrid between like a lipstick and a lip balm. Really nice and very comfortable. And also with this line, I just loved the shades because everything is nice, very wearable, and just perfect for every day. Next up, we have a new release here from Maybelline. This is the Perfector 4-in-1 Instant Age Rewind Matte Face Makeup. So I think it's supposed to give you like barely their coverage. Um, and it's supposed to just mainly like even out your skin tone, give you a matte finish as it states. Even though I do have drier skin, I'm really, really curious to see like what this is actually going to do. Just for like natural, a natural day, you know what I mean? Um, they also released these lip products. I love all of the nude shades. Again, I just feel like these are perfect tones for like a day-to-day -day basis. They have, yeah, a lot of like brownish tones. It looks really good and it's supposed to give you a matte finish, but it's supposed to be like really, really comfortable. Then I also spotted these quads here from Revlon, which again with these, I don't know if they're brand new, but they were up front and center. They, we have this one right here, which is like a blue silvery type of quad. This is the warm tone quad of the bunch. And I think these were around $10, $12. I have decent luck with these. I'm not fully obsessed, but they're like, okay in my eyes. And this right here is more like the berry tone quad. Then Revlon also released this new mascara the so fierce mascara for $10.99 and this is lifted high volume it has more of like a curved type of wand and it is more of like a rubber bristled wand so it looks interesting we'll see we'll see we have these lip products by Revlon uh, color say uh, satin ink it's hard to know if these are brand new because I know they typically release or re-release these maybe in different versions I'm not really sure but they have a bunch of different colors, so really gorgeous. And these are $11.49 at Ulta. And then they also have like lip liners here as well. Whoops. Oi. Whoopee. Um, I haven't tried these. Uh, but they look really good. I like this color, Partner in Crime. That's us. Um, yeah, okay. I think that's pretty much it. I think we're gonna go. I don't know. Up next, I popped by CVS to see if they have any new uh, makeup or skincare goodies. And really really excited to see that they have the CoverGirl clean fresh skincare line so CoverGirl recently released a bunch of skincare items to their line everything is fairly affordable I want to say I mean I don't see the prices here but I'm still thinking maybe between 10 ish 15 maybe dollars um, but here basically we have the hydrating cream cleanser it's just exciting for me to see that CoverGirl such a well-known brand is releasing skincare goods that are vegan and cruelty free like that's just amazing um, they have the Priming Glow Mist here as well. This right here is the Dry Skin Corrector Cream. Looks cool. We also have the Weightless Water Cream, which probably would be great if you have uh, oily skin. And they also have, well, maybe dry skin actually. And the Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer would be great if you have oily skin. And they also have these right here, which are the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balms in various different colors. So this like orange shade made for peach. 
I cherish you, bliss you, Barry. <laughs> uh, I love the beautiful pink packaging. They also have this really gorgeous uh, pinky color, Life is Pink. Yes. Whoops. And then they also have the Claire is Crystal a lip balm as well. These look awesome. I'm really, really short for this, but they have this CoverGirl section as well of makeup. So these are the Exhibitionist Velvet um, shadows. We have this beautiful blue one. And these are pretty large. This is a purple. Love these tones. This isn't popping. This is Get After It. Love this color. And then we have like this taupey color in Dig Deep. They also have some of the uh, CoverGirl palettes here. I don't know if this is brand new, but it's in Desert Heat. So it basically reminds me of like the Naked Heat palette by Urban Decay. It has a bunch of like warmer toned shades, browns, metallics, and mattes. They also have the That's Rad palette. I will say from my experience, these aren't the best quality shadows. They're okay. Like just okay, I would say. But it's cool to see them coming out with more color stories. I will say that. And then this one right here looks familiar. It's in Queen Ship. And then for some reason, I'm seeing a ton of these up front and center, so I don't know if they're brand new. It doesn't look new, uh, but it's possible we have these blushes by CoverGirl. This is in Coral Crush. Really, really pretty color. And then we have this one, which is more of like a um, purpley temptation. I don't know. Like, what color is this? Temptation. Okay, so I started this video in New York. I am actually in California now. Um... So yeah, I filmed most of the footage in New York, in the New York stores, in the New York drugstores. Um, but then the last little bit of like CoverGirl stuff I found here in Huntington Beach, California. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I just feel like there aren't that many new releases this time around. Usually at the beginning of the year, tons of goodies are released from the drugstore brands. But I haven't seen too much. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I don't know if they're just not hitting stores or if they're just mainly online because I saw online they have more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy this. I hope you found it helpful. I'll hopefully have a haul up sometime very soon. Really, really excited to try out some of the newer goods that just released. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. But I will see you guys in my next video and I'm looking forward to your comments down below. <laughs> Bye.